boy is painful, but he knows with the pain comes the victory today on Mon Bon 2. And with the victory on Mon Bon 2, a week tomorrow should come victory in the Tour de France, the second year in a row for Britain. Might be a little bit early, but today everything has gone so well. He's increased his overall lead tonight. Chris Froome will shortly flick to our left. Here it comes as he turns for the finishing line. We'll drop back down to the road at the moment. This is Perrault, best Frenchman still. A few of pain, but it's all to the good. Here we go. So now you'll see the finish, and it's up a hill. Where else would it be? As he comes round the corner, picks up the tailwind, climbs and crawls and grabs his way towards the line. Chris Froome has toppled all of the men of the Tour de France today. His team set it up for him. He had the ability to finish it. Froome gets his third historical stage win in the Tour and increases his overall lead tonight. But the man we're looking at here is the man we'll be talking about in years to come when we go into the big mountain passes because of 23 years of age. This is a phenomenal performance by Nairo Quintana. He's lost a little bit of time on Chris Froome, but he's gained time on almost everybody else. And he'll be also moving up well in the overall standings tonight. And look at the average speed of this stage. Although there's only one mountain down towards the end, 41 kilometers an hour, 29 seconds lost by Quintana. The question is, how much has everybody else lost? Yes, only one man could beat that ride of Colombia.